that guy. I've never seen him before. What'd you say, boys? You got crosses in your heels. Nails, shaped like crosses. What for? Ward off evil spirits. Can you tell us a little bit how did you meet uh, Jeff at all and how did you decide to join the, his project? I got a call from my agent uh, saying there's a, there's, a, there's a man, a director, who's a really talented, new young talent and he wants to talk to you about a script that I found out that he, he wrote with me in mind almost eight to yeah, ten years ago. Yeah, I was going to say he wrote it about you, right? Yeah. Um, and so I was very busy at the time I was on location somewhere. I called him and I said, look, and he sent the script out and I said, I'm really busy. I don't really read scripts when I'm working. I go, but will you please follow up with me in a month? Mm -hmm. And he did. He got the call and, I, and, I, and then I got some time. I read it, really liked it, started to watch his films. And then we met. And when we met in Austin, Texas and sat down, um, that's when I was like, okay, no, I'm definitely on board. He really it was obvious he knew had a singular vision about what he wanted to do. Uh, well, the first experience I had was um, Jeff wrote me a letter and I read the script and then I told him I, I couldn't do the movie. <laughs> I said, I can't do the movie. Because um, I was just, I don't know, I was concerned that I just didn't want to, um, I don't know, I didn't want to take away anything from the movie by showing up and be, I don't know, I, I was confused. And then I read it again and he, he called me again and then we sat down again and I was like, it just kept haunting me. The script was so beautiful and um, and it touched my heart because it's, it's about where I'm from, you know, and there's very few movies about um, the rural South that are, you know, well done. I think as a Southerner, you always have your antenna up for, is this person for real? Are yeah. they going to represent Southern people with respect and dignity? So I thought it was a unique opportunity to make a film like that. So I ended up doing the movie. I'm waiting on my girlfriend. She got these birds tattooed on her hands here. Nightingale. Good luck, birds. But it's amazing that you are so much in love with each other, but you almost don't uh, appear together on the screen. Was it hard and how did you develop this relationship and have you spent time on the shot together at all? Well, we knew each other. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, when we when we decided to start the film and the prep work on the film, I think Matthew was on location somewhere, you were somewhere. And we talked on the phone a little bit about our relationship and um, sort of developed, that was actually really helpful for me. So I really understood that we'd been doing this back and forth and trying to be together over and over and over again. And, um, you know, it's just one of those relationships that keeps pulling you back together. How many times do you think you left me? <laughs> 280? Jeff told me eight times. Eight? Eight times. Eight? Oh, I would have thought at least 80. <laughs> But you're just so darn appealing. I just came back. Just keep coming back. <laughs> Kick me to the curb Even again. You're clearly not right for each other. That were great performances. Thank you very much. Oh, thank for you. Them. Thank you.